everyone assalamu alaikum in this tutorial we'll take a look how to create animated list as you click on the button so there are a lot of items that shows up on the screen and they're all animated so you can create as many as you want and after that if you want to delete them you can also delete them and as you delete them they get shrink automatically with animation so let's go ahead and get started this video is sponsored by mock plus meet mock plus Mock Plus Pair is a powerful web-based prototyping tool that allows you to create all levels of visual design just in minutes from scratches, wireframes, and flowcharts to interactive prototypes that work like real things. Your entire team co-design with your team in real time and preview and test out our prototypes in real devices all without codes. Professional prototyping has never been easier. This Black Friday, it's the best time to gear your team up with Mock Plus Peer. Buy one and get one free plus 20% off. You can save up to 60%. Offer ends November 13. Grab it before it's gone. And check out the link below for more about Mock Plus. Thank you so much. Well, let's get started. Now, to be able to work with this animated list, we have created a stateful class. And inside this stateful class, we have an app bar. Then, since we want to work with animated list, we have this animated list widget and it has a required argument item builder. Well, first, uh, you need to pass the context, but this context doesn't really matter since we are on the same stateful widget. And then we have this index number, index where we'd be storing our items and the animation object, which is directly coming from animated list. And Inside this item builder, we need to return a widget. So we are returning size transition. Why? Because we want to change the size of this, our animated list, which needs an argument, which is key, and it has to be pretty much unique. And then we have the sized factor. Now sized factor, Flutter will take care for us. It would happen automatically. So it would get smaller, bigger to smaller, smaller to bigger automatically. And then we just want to show everything, the items in a card. So we have this card widget over here. Well, now this is the time that actually we create a list, a list of items where we'd be able to store our animated list. Now to be able to do that, we'd come at the top and right over here, we'll declare two variables. This is the list where we'll store every item and we also need a global key because we are going to work with transition, transition which would change the position of objects on our UI. So that's why global key is very important. Now I have another tutorial about global key. If you don't know what is that, go ahead and check out. We added this item so we can go down and over here we can add new item. Now over here inside this card, we can use list style. Well, after that, actually we have returned this list style because we wanna show them one by one over here. And then inside this list style, we have this title as text widget. Now you see inside text widget, we access our items as items index and of course we have added more style to it so that we would be able to work on so that we'd be able to work on remove button as we click on the item and we need to create a floating action button over here now for this reason over here we'll add floating action button and here we have this icon now we need a method to be able to create an item over here on the on press event now let's go ahead and create this uh, add item for on press event now at the top we'll create this method which is called add item now as you can see as this method gets called it inserts item in this list and of course we have here auto generated length because we add one with it each time so that we have different list now over here we have this key now this is once again coming from global key and each of the item we add in the list that has to be also visible on the screen for this reason we have to add those items in a state list so key maintains the list of all the states that associated on the screen in the widget tree so each time we add a new item in the screen or in the list we add a new state object at the beginning of this key over here so before we go ahead and run it, we need to do one more thing. So over here, we need to assign this key, the key that we created as global object at the top. And then we have a bit of this styling. So let's go ahead and run it one more time. And then we'll be able to click on this and see an item that pops up from here. 
So as you see, the item popped up, and here we have this title item one. We can click on, we can click on it one more time, and we'll see we have new item. As you click more, we'll have more items. Now we want to be able to work on this button, click on this, and remove an item from the list. Now to be able to do that, we're here we'll create a new method which is called remove item. So this is our remove item method, and once again. If we want to remove items from this list over here, actually we need to remove them from our state list. And state list is maintained by the global key. So we get that state list and from it current object, which is current state. And then we remove them based on the index. And once again, we have to pass the animation object, so which we also didn't need to wor worry about. Flutter will take care of that because we are doing animation. So animation object should be there. And anyway, right after this, we have this size transition widget one more time because we want it to animate as it removes. Here we have this basic styling inside this card widget as well as list style to show this uh, animation and where it will show that text removing. And we want there should be a duration like one second time and whatever the index that's being passed from the, based on that index from this list we remove these items as well now this is the time we go ahead and call this one now for calling we can just come down to our body section over here over here we'll add this remove item method and of course we need to pass the index as well let's go ahead and save it and then we'll click on this any of the items and we see it gets removed and wherever you click it gets removed and you can add more items as well as you can see all things gets removed so yeah that's how it works thank you